If your true purpose was to help, you wouldn't take money from the poor for your snake oil. Oh, but to pay for it is part of the process, Doctor. If it were free, they wouldn't believe in it. Eh. That's... Yeah. No. 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 Anything unlocked, hint-wise, now? No, I didn't think so. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. Oh, we will. We will absolutely be talking again. Well, this little distraction has not led me too far from where I'm supposed to be going. As... What's that? Do not cough in public. That is basically unknown. Okay. What do we have down here? According to the map, it looks like it's... Oh, no, it's probably there, isn't it? It's probably... Oh! This is the man I saved. The man who uh, treats his tenants. This district seems like to get uglier. It crap. Good evening, sir. Do you remember me? If you're here for a reward, you'll be sorely disappointed. Oh, you are just... But I'll gladly shake the hand of a fellow countryman. I'm not here for a bounty. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed from the Pembroke. A doctor? In Whitechapel? What an opportunity. My name's Bates. Cadogan Bates. Do you require assistance, Mr. Bates? Not me, but your skills could help a lot of people around here. That would help my business, because I say, a live tenant's a paying tenant. Okay, that... That is actually a good way to look at things. It's a little callous that the only reason you care about them is because they pay. And I have to say, I've not been impressed with you so far. And I'd be lying if I didn't admit that I didn't want you to impress me, because I do, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting peckish, basically, okay? Since I took an oath to help people, <laughs> can I be of assistance? <laughs> oh, well, God, I don't sound happy, do days, I? days, that's for sure. But it was bound to happen with all these refugees about. Oh, yeah, no, no, thank you. Keep, keep talking, keep talking. <sighs> Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this, in any case. What? You give me this for free? Don't have a clue about this place, do you? No. But you are now recovering, which will improve your blood quality. Yes, it will. Okay, why do you seem so happy? It's unusual to see someone so happy around here, especially considering the current situation. <laughs> why should I be sad now? There've always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy, and I intend to stay so. Right, so, so your attitude is, if, if it benefits you and everyone else suffers, that's okay. I shall, I shall bear that in mind. What is your business, exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money's not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. Uh, oh, hints. Right. Ca Cadogan is making money by renting squalid flats to Whitechapel migrants. Yes. You're taking advantage of them. You are. In other words, you take advantage of these poor lost souls. Begging your pardon, I thought you was a man who could appreciate the complexity of the modern world. Things ain't just black and white, you know. That is true. But you seem to be trying to make them black and white, in my opinion. Painting yourself somewhat on the black side. What help could I be to your business? Uh, live tenants paying tenants is my guess.
Yes. What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to... Mr. Bates, do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. Oh, I understand, too Dr. Late. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. I don't want such a dubious associate. You're despicable. You are. You are. I have no interest in money. Would this... See, I would like to get some more information from him, though. And whilst he is a disgusting creature that I would like to kill right now, I do need more information from him. I have no interest in money. Perhaps one night I will visit you and take what I require. Oh, God! If that should happen, there will be no need for a middleman. So it's a no, then. That's uh, too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that what you do? I mean, people buy that swamberous shit. <sighs> Just right. Tell me, what's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. Right. St uh, do you still think about your attack? That's an odd You question. seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages. Absolute bloody savages. Their appearance. Jesus. It made me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. Uh, yeah. No, no. You, you hang around this neighborhood where I can find you later on. I'm looking for Dorothy Crane. She's a nurse. What can you tell me about her? Dorothy Crane. Bless her soul. I really should thank her someday. Uh, has she treated you? No. When I need a checkup, I'd go to a bloody doctor, not some back alley clinic full of sick foreigners. Then why the gratitude? Tell me truthfully, why are you so thankful? By keeping my tenants alive, she's making me a rich man. Mm -hmm. Every month they live, it's more coin in my pocket. The annoying thing is... He's a despicable, horrible person. He really is. But I am now worried that... He, he does seem to have a vested interest in keeping the people in the city alive. Which does... It makes him horrible. But... He could actually be a positive influence. And of course, I'm probably going to find people who are no negative influence whatsoever and are really nice people, but honestly, the city would barely miss. Because I can't help but wondering if, uh, if, if the city might miss this person. It's... Oh. But he's so killable. But he really is. Goodbye, Mr. Bates. I mean, really? He just is. He's... Okay. Somebody over there. Around back? I found her. She is up there. And yet, for some reason, this is where... Okay. Should I go there and find out about... Because I now know Dorothy is... Okay, that's someone with a surgical mask on. Yeah. However. There, uh... There could be some use to talking to this Darius Petrescu. Get some more information. What? What do you want? 
Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. Uh, uh, to enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. Oh, he's got bronchitis. Uh, can I... Okay. Was he going around this way? There. Can I go through here? The strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Clayton Darby? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Okay, honestly, I'm getting a I'm getting a nice kind vibe. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. I'm getting a nice kind vibe from from her. I really, really am. Okay, I need to get a migraine treatment for him. You're recovering. Um, where? No, it's this one. It's this one. Okay, I'm getting a, I'm getting a very nice vibe from her. I really am. So I need to find some other people in this neighborhood. All right. They must know about Darius. Nearby the church they just mentioned. Okay. Find Richard Nithercott and Clayton Darby. Okay. We're going in that direction, are we? Let's just check. Right. Well, one of them's there. One of them, one of them's one of them's at the front. What is this? Is this the actual? Is that a, that's the church? I wonder if it's white. Very probably. Or once upon a time. It was. Oh. Unknown. Also unknown. I should never have taken up my father's business. Okay. Hello. Welcome, sir. Uh, please take a browse of my wares. I am Dr. Reed. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Doctor? Interesting. I'm Barrett Lewis. Usually I don't have time to waste with talk, but at this hour of the night I can hardly refuse. Okay, then. How is business around here? Business? I have no business. Between this racket, theft, and customers getting scared, I'm losing money every day. I see. Sounds like you blame someone in particular for your situation. It's no secret Joe Peterson spends his time harassing merchants. But with me, he's trying to put me out of business once and for all. Uh, and who is he? Okay, Barrett, L Joe Peterson. Joe extorts, extortions put Barrett Lewis in a tough financial situation. Okay. I don't actually know this person. Noticed anything out of the ordinary? Good question. As a merchant, you see Whitechapel every day. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary recently? Well, you mean besides the epidemic, the war, and all the usual crap? As long as I can remember, this part of town has been a bottomless pit, and no sign of the bottom yet. Okay. Violence is increasing in the borough. Yeah. A few nights ago, some blokes jumped me, came out of one of the condemned workshops. Fever, madness, something like that. Where did this happen? Why did you go there? In the closed workshops nearby. I worked there as an apprentice in better days. 
Now I only go to find trinkets or tools. Too bad I was mugged, though. There was good money in that little box of loot I lost. Interesting. New investigation. Have you been hurt? No, but that's only because I ran like hell. Those men were raving lunatics, I tell you. Wise man. Not even able to speak anymore, just screaming. Okay. Uh, no hints at the moment. And... Have you heard of a nurse called Dorothy Crane? Nurse Crane? So the bitch really is a nurse, then? You always thought she was just some crafty foreigner, that one. Okay, she's an excellent nurse. I'd... Sure, blame the migrants. She's just trying to help. No, she is an excellent nurse, I believe. Yes, she's a nurse. And quite a good one. What did she do to gain such notoriety? Dorothy Crane ain't even a real name. Something like Dorothea Craniu. Something like that. Came to England fleeing the war, I was told. That doesn't explain why she irritates you so much. Your precious nurse Crane gives away medical supplies and prescriptions for free. I offered to sell it for a fair cut, but no, Miss Crane wanted to play the quiet saint. Well, that's good. I mean, so far, everything I'm finding out about her is good. She's giving... I mean, she... I'm going to find out she's actually an evil mastermind, aren't I? She's, she's brutally murdering people or something. There's got to be something there. She just... She seems so damn nice. And out of curiosity, what are right, you then. selling? Show me what you have. Um, I do need some more of that, but again, I'm still at the I don't want to spend money phase of my life. It's a, it's a fairly long, drawn out phase. An unknown person up there. Can't get there. Right. Oh, I can get up there. However, let's talk to this person first. This is the man Excuse extorting me, I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't answer the first one, so piss off! I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson to some, but Colossus Joe to most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Um, true. I'm just... Do you enjoy bullying people? Let's just, just... May I ask what you do around here? I do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. Okay. Going on the list. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighbourhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. All right. How did you become the local bully everyone is afraid of, Joe? There's no pride in roughing up poor bastards. But this is the only job I've found. And it pays well, too. A job? So you're racketeering for someone else? I got enlisted by the Wet Boot Boys, a gang from the docks. I'm their muscle for their dirty work. Survival is natural law. You could have refused. Most people don't become thugs when unemployed. This is a choice you made. I don't care what you think, sir. I do what I have to do for my own reasons, and that's that. I'm not sure Mr. Lewis would agree with your by all means necessary philosophy, sir. Oh, do you really think he's the poor victim here? Barrett can be as sneaky as anyone. Long ago, I even called the bastard my best friend. Okay. So there is something more there. Interesting. Right. Okay. Oh, no hints required. Have you heard of a nurse named Dorothy Crane? She's a colleague of mine, and is supposed to live around here. Dorothy Crane? Yeah, I know her. One of the few good souls who dare to help the sick around here. Could you please tell me more about her? She's a nice girl. Tries to help the migrants. I offered to give her a hand, but she said my reputation would attract too much attention. 
I might have misjudged him. I mean, he comes across as brash and he's a bit threatening. But it doesn't sound like he's particularly proud of his job. And he seems to like the nurse and the fact that she's helping migrants. I just... Interesting. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. Very interesting. Okay. Let's check in here. I did see somebody. Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Uh. Um, that, that's a bit rude, really, isn't it? That does seem a little rude, but I'm a vampire. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me then. Okay then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Even my dreams are soaked with glue. What? Even your dreams are soaked with glue? So, may I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Ah, uh, okay then. Harry Peterson. Are you related? Right, so you're basically those two outside. Oh, he's got fatigue. Do I have another... Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. Uh, give medicine. I've got medicine. I've got... I think it's my last one. This, but you need to get a grip, young man. Medication alone won't cure melancholia. I'm not sure I'm happy with the idea of living long in a world like this. But I thank you for your concern, sir. All right. Uh, hint required. How do you feel? I'm fine. I mean, it's not easy every day, but I'm fine. I'm just tired of being sick all the time. If only I could be tough, like... Well, you know. Mm. Speaking of which... What? Okay. Harry has a frail constitution and is often sick. I mean... Almost sounds like he's... You know, just... One step away from ending it all himself. What can you tell me about your father? My father is an idiot who makes reason. idiot things. That's all I have to say. I mean, it would, wouldn't it? That would be a terrible reason to... to drink somebody. Well, he was going to offer himself anyway. I mean, you know, hey, it's... See, logically, that makes perfect sense. But that's a horrible thing to say. Not happy to live in Whitechapel. Forgive my bluntness, young man, but you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. And look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? Um, situation can only improve. Your father did his best. He might have. You, you have a place to call home, which is more than a lot of people have, honestly. You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. Uh, why don't you just leave? It's a good question. If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I... I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Bloody and frightening things. So that's why you stay at home all day? For fear of the epidemic? I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Oh, it makes sense, to be honest. Uh, okay, let's... So that's... Our personal questions. And about Barrett Lewis and your father. Your father and Mr. Lewis used to be good friends. What happened, Harry? I was young then. I don't remember Mr. Lewis ever coming back again after my mother died. 
Or was it after my father started bullying him? I don't know. Okay, did you talk to Mr. Lewis? Have you tried speaking to Mr. Lewis about it? I don't go out often, but yes. And he scolded me and told me to leave him alone. I guess my father frightens him too much. You, yeah, now this, you know, what your father does is not, like, on you. But you are not responsible for your father's actions. Am I not? Dad always says that he joined that gang for my safety. So if I wasn't born, people wouldn't be worrying about Colossus Joe. Oh. So this is why he's doing what he's doing. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. Yes, I know her. She came here to examine me when I was very sick. She said I should go out more. Uh, yeah, probably not that helpful for you. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. Oh. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Yeah. Do I really want to be stealing from this young man? I mean, really? Do I really want to be taking stuff from this young man? But the problem is, is there might be clues and stuff about what is going on in this neighborhood. I mean, I understand that maybe the single professional vampire hunter's new collectible. If you ever suspect someone to be a vampire, don't try to kill it yourself. You have no chance instead. Contact me or try to inform a professional vampire killer. These men and women are rare, but they know what to do against these evil creatures. It even seems that some of them are working together under the name of the Guard of the Priwin, a paramilitary organisation dedicated to the eradication of vampires in London. They are your friends. You are not alone. Solutions exist. Be smart. Spread the word. Clarence Crosley. Who is Clarence Crosley? I, I do feel bad taking things like this, but... Okay, I don't feel bad anymore. No, I do not. I do not feel bad anymore. Job refusal. Dear Mr. Peterson, it is my duty to inform you of our refusal to accept your application for the job at the dockyard. I must thank you for the time spent at our office explaining the difficulty of your situation with your ill boy and the loss of your beloved wife. But it is also my duty to point out the policy of our company, which expressly reproves the employment of former criminals and convicts. Your unfortunate connections with the ill-famed wet boot boys have been duly noted. These are hard times, sir. And Finch and Harbour intend to reward first the candidates who pass the small inquiry we like to conduct about our future employees. You have my deepest sympathy, and may God be with you and your family. Okay. Yeah, I, I just that really changes it a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, that's... Oh, he's not... He's... he's, he's having difficulties. Could I perhaps sort a job out for him? I mean, I'm not exa Okay, that's locked. Don't... Locked for a reason, I assume. Yeah. I'm just going to take everything just in case. Even my dreams are glue. Just that, that, that's just looting. That is just looting. There's no way around that. That was just looting. That's not a clue. That looks like it should be locked. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? What happens if I steal that while he stood here? I mean... I just... I kind of want to, um... Check for more clues. I just don't want to get in horrible amounts of trouble. Oh. This is going to make me a thief. Even my dreams yeah. are soaked with glue. That's going to make me a thief. If 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 I oh, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, Barrett. You pay one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbours, for Christ's sake. I'd prefer not to give you another beating, Barrett. <sighs> you again. What do you want this time? 
I don't, I don't know. I'm just wondering if I could help you somehow. I don't... <sighs> Harry doesn't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why did you make him come here? I've always put my son's interests above everything else. Whatever he may think. Our house is small but affordable. The walls are thin, but the door is solid. You really love your son, don't you, Mr. Peterson? He's my pride and joy. Even if he hates me for the choices I make and pushes me buttons more than he should. Um... Do you have any regrets? Only one. Not to have my beloved wife by my side. She died when Harry was little. My sweet Jane. She gave the boy confidence. Right. So you need to find some way of giving him confidence then. Since the criminal nature of your job means you could be arrested, are you not afraid of what would happen to your boy if you were? No one will ever take my son away from me. If that ever occurred, I'd... I'd hunt the bastard down and rip off his head with my bare hands. Right. Out of curiosity, you're not ill, are you? Can I offer you my medical expertise, Mr. Peterson? The name is Colossus Joe. All right, no, no. Just... I don't get sick. You know, no, no. Okay, uh... Oh, wait it. Where was the other one? Right. Why do you keep on working for the gang, Joe? You know it doesn't suit you. It's true, I hate this job. And I know I made some bad choices, but I'm a wet boot boy now. And people won't forget it. You could leave tomorrow. Start another life in another town. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. We are poor. My son's weak. And there's no way he'll endure another disappointment. <sighs> I, ju I really do. I want to find some way of helping them now. I do. I do. I want to help them. I'm guessing you don't have any more information. But this district has always been I, I, I can't help but wonder if there's something in that safe that would give me a clue and let me... Hello. Good evening, Harry. May I come in? Sure. Sure. I, my I, dreams are soaked with glue. I, I, I feel, I, I just, it's in a good cause, son. Please don't go mental. Large box of pills. No, that's not. Is there only pain and suffering okay. in this world? No, there's nothing there either. There's just loot. I just robbed them. Damn it. Oh, Fine. Oh. Unknown. I think the people I'm looking for are... Wait. There was somebody else there before, wasn't there? Wasn't there? Oh, God, he's preaching. He's preaching. Hello? Who are you? Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling. But I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right, then. But be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. Okay, then. I'll bear that in mind. Um, oh. Fatigue. I don't have any treatments for that at the moment. I could come back, though. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London. And you could be exposed, or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals, but I don't like you asking questions. Mm, your line of work has many health risks. But it does! Come on! Considering your line of work, I assure you it is only a matter of time before you have health issues. If it is going to happen, it will happen. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. And your clients? Do you care about them at all? You can put your own life in danger. That's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger, too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Hmm, fair enough, I suppose. Okay, um... Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? 
People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. I had few options left. Uh, I don't judge you. No, I don't. I do not judge you at all. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. But I'm a nosy person. You could make it my concern. No? Okay. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Anything you can tell me about her would be helpful. I don't know her, but I know her name is Dorothea Krasionescu. She came from Romania like me and many others. You seem to respect her. Dorothea helps the sick people of Whitechapel. Everyone should respect that. Okay, no, 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 I, I do. Goodbye, I... miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. I'm trying to figure out why somebody like that would be threatening a vampire. That just seems... Okay. There's somebody knocking at your door, mate. Dude, there's someone knocking at your door. Right over there. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, and I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. What? Okay. I'm more lost than you thought. Wait, what do you mean when you say that I am more lost than you thought? All scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. And most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. Answers about the hidden truth. Are you high? Because you don't sound like a priest to me. You sound, well, you sound like a hippie in a commune. I only believe in facts. I'm listening. No, I am listening. Go on, just... Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. As a doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself, corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes, I have seen them, those minions from the abyss. I heard no, no, uh, uh, he's he talking about skulls. He's probably talking about skulls, isn't he? And your plan is? Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. Okay, you you, you, you want to burn the city down? Tobias wants to cleanse the epidemic by fire. Okay, yeah. No, not a hippie. No, no, no. Arsonist. I am more lost than you thought. I already asked that. How exactly will you cleanse this city with fire? Tell me, Tobias. What exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Um. Fire is just the instinctive answer of a caveman facing something he does not understand. This is the 20th century. Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. Then You're you mad suck at and task. dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. A small-time Torquemada. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. 
While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. Oh, oh, and so your fix for that is to basically set fire to them instead. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's a better way of dealing with the problem. I'm more, haven't I already asked this? What do you mean when you say that I am more lost I've already asked than that. thought? Oh, sorry, I'm quite a yeah, I've already yeah, just just what has a dog what do you wait, mean? Wait, 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 wait. Flat, what this is what I did, right? Okay, back. That's what I want. Uh Have you any family left? You know, people who could look after you whilst you're wearing a straight jacket. Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. I sent him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. Uh, where did you send him? Where did you send him? I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery, where the pestilence and evil grows night after night. Okay, you sent him to a cemetery. Yeah, he's going to be in trouble. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks through the valley of the shadow of death. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess he's probably a lot more afraid than you think, or was. Okay, and I might as well, just in case he has actually got some... Out of curiosity, is he... I, I was wondering, it says he's healthy. Maybe it has an option for totally insane. Do I have a cure for it? Well, I actually do have a cure for that, in a way. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like the liberal ideas of nurses, but I especially abhor that Nurse Crane you mentioned. Um, you don't like nurses? So I mean, you're not exactly why a am fan I surprised? of Florence Nightingale's work. But nurses are essential for modern healthcare. Nuns should be the only women allowed to take care of male patients. It's obvious only they have the necessary moral fiber. Oh, you just... I, I, do you practice in a mirror? She's like, okay, I'm going for 11 out of 10 on the annoying scale. Why specifically do we hate Nurse Crane? Why do you hate Nurse Crane more than other nurses? Before coming to London, she was a member of the communist resistance in her country. That's what happens when you let a woman get involved in politics. Okay, new hint. That's the first hint for her, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. No. Okay. So she was part of the resistance. She gives away medicine for free. And she's a good nurse. And that's all I have. I have had enough for tonight. Goodbye. Oh, my God. God, talk about jumping to the top of the list. 